following all the way through the Bible on the Christmas story. Last week, we talked about how Mary and Joseph went to a place called Bethlehem and baby Jesus was born. So what's our lesson about today as we follow through? Well, I'm going to give you a clue. And you can actually try doing this at home. It's kind of interesting. So what do I have here? I have a clear plate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this carton of milk and pour some milk onto the plate. I can actually get a carton. Okay. All right. All right. So we poured the milk on the plate. Now, this is going to represent the world. Okay? It might even represent our life. And it looks kind of blah, right? And I know that when we turn on the news today or when we listen to the radio, we're hearing a lot of bad stuff going on, right? The world is filled with bad news. And we try maybe to look for the good news, look for something positive. So we could say there's little pockets of good news, but mostly as you look at this plate of milk, most of it is all white and blah. But I have some really, really good news. The best news ever. This is my secret ingredient about good news. But what happens when I bring it into the world? Wow, it's spreading, isn't it? It's spreading all over. We're going to talk about some really great news, the best news ever that should make our world and our life filled with joy. So don't go away. We'll be right back with our story. All right, so we're back with lesson number three. Now, we have been learning about the Christmas story. Last week, if you remember, Jesus was born in a manger in the stable with Mary and Joseph in Bethlehem. And now we're going to see what happens next. Our story today is taken from the Gospel of Luke. That's Matthew, Mark, Luke, third book of the New Testament, chapter 2, verses 18 to 14. Now, our lesson involves good news and shepherds, right? Shepherds. Well, we're going to hear the story from a shepherd that was actually there 2,000 years ago when Jesus was born. And he's going to tell you all about what he saw and what he heard. And so won't you welcome with me Old Shep the Shepherd. Yay! Old Shep! Hello, everybody. I'm Old Shep the Shepherd. And as uh, you heard, I've been around for a long time, a whole long time. I was actually there long ago when the most exciting, exciting world event took place. Oh, it was something, I tell you. And so uh, I'm here to tell you exactly what happened that night firsthand. Oh, I'm sorry I'm so slow, but you know, I've been around for a long time. Can you hear me? Hello out there? Are you so? Oh yeah, okay. Well, it all started when my buddies and I, actually, here's my buddies over here. They were there with me on that night. My buddies, let me introduce you to my buddy shepherds, okay? All right. Well, this here, this here is Joe. Joseph, okay? Hi, right, Joe. And this here is, um, this here is, is Joshua. And this guy here, what's your name again? What is it? Ah, uh, his name, he said, is Herb. Are you sure you're a shepherd? I never heard of a shepherd called Herb. <laughs> Anyways, these guys were with me that night. And it was a quiet night, you know. Not 
that's not a whole lot going on. And, and, and our sheep, they were about falling asleep, all right? And we were too. I mean, it was still, it was quiet. Nothing was happening. We're minding our own business. I'm just about ready to fall asleep. And, oh, <laughs> and we're just like sitting there watching the night. Beautiful night. Just about dozing off. When all of a sudden, took us so by surprise, there was this, 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 this bright light that, that started coming from the sky. And we were all shaking in our boots. It was like, oh, blinding. We couldn't see. It was like, oh, what, what in the world is that? And wh why is it here? And what's going on? Right, guys? Anyway, we were like so scared. And all of a sudden, we realized this, this is a heavenly being. This, this is like an angel, right? And, and the angel says, don't be afraid. And we're like, say what? Don't be afraid. I mean, we never saw anything like you before. <laughs> oh, the angel says, don't be afraid, because I've got some great news, wonderful news, wonderful news, good news of great joy. And we're like, really? Right, guys? It was like, what could she be here for? What's going on? She says, today, in this place, the city of David, called Bethlehem, a Savior's been born, a Savior of the world. Yeah. And we're like, what? A Savior's been born? Oh, and you're telling us? I mean, we're just shepherds, right? We're just shepherds. And we're like, what do we know? Why you're telling us? We, we, we couldn't believe it. We couldn't believe it. It was like, wow. And, and she says, yeah. And, and she says, this is how you know who he is. Because we are like, how the heck do we find this guy born in Bethlehem? You know, Bethlehem was really busy that time of year. Because all these people were there for the census. It'll be counted. How are we going to find a baby? A baby, a savior? That's what she said. A baby was born in Bethlehem. And we're like, there's lots of babies in Bethlehem, right guys? How are we gonna find them? And she goes, the angel goes, this is all you'll know. He's in a manger and he's wrapped in cloths. Like a manger? Really? Wow, <laughs> this is amazing. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> something else happens spectacular, I told you. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden there wasn't just one angel. <laughs> there was like a whole billions of zillions of angels coming at us. And they're all singing and they're all rejoicing. And they're going, glory to God in the highest. We couldn't believe it. We were like, wow, this is amazing. We can't believe it. And so we knew, we knew, we knew we had to, we had to go see this thing that had come. This baby, the savior of the world. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It was amazing, I tell you! I'm still excited remembering it. It was like yesterday. Right, guys? It was fantastic! <laughs> anyway. That's how it was. An amazing night we'll never forget. Never forget. And you know what? That's amazing news today, just like it was back then. Ha <laughs> ha! Wonderful, joyful news. The Savior has come. Ha! Huh. Anyway, that's how it happened. I'll, 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 I'm going to go now, and so I'll be, I'll be right back. No, I won't. I'll be right back. Somebody will be right back. I gotta go. My rheumatism is acting up again. Ha! I get too excited. Ha! Oh, nice talking to you. Ha! 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 Wasn't that exciting? Old Shep telling us what happened that 
night when the angels came and visited the shepherds and they found out a baby had been born and not just any baby, but a savior of the world, the Lord Jesus, the son of God. See, they were expecting a, a savior to come and now he was here. So that was the best news that they'd ever heard. That's the best news anyone can ever hear at any time, anywhere. Jesus has come. The Savior, the Son of God has come. God sent his Son, who put on flesh, to be with us. Us. He became a human being. Why? Because God had a plan. God had a plan to save the world from our sin. We were in a helpless state, a hopeless place. We couldn't get rid of the sin in our hearts and in our life. So God sent his son. And when we put our trust and our faith in him, we can have peace with God and we can find salvation. It was great news for the shepherds, lowly shepherds. They were the first people that God let know that Jesus had been born. That's great news, isn't it? That brings us to our memory verse for today. <clears throat> it's Luke chapter 2, verses 10, 11, and 14. Three different verses. So let's look at it. It says, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. It wasn't just for shepherds. It was for everybody. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Glory to God in the highest. This was what the angels said. Glory to God and I on the highest and on earth. Peace to men on whom his favor rests. Luke 2, 10, 11, and 14. How are you doing with the memory verses we've been looking at? I hope that you're looking at them in your Bible and you're remembering them. This is great news. Christmas is the time that we focus on the birth of Jesus, but we all know why he came. He had a high purpose and a high calling so that we could be saved. We could be saved. And that is joyful news, isn't it? So let's pray. Let's pray thanking God for sending Jesus and bringing salvation to the world. Okay? Father, we are just so thankful and so grateful that you have come. Lord, just as the shepherds were filled with joy at the good news, Lord, we still remember those things that we have heard and that we have seen in our own life about yourself, the salvation that you have come to give. And so today we just want to praise you. We just want to thank you. We just want to give you glory like the angels did, oh God. And we just bless your holy name today. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, and I have to say, I forgot I have to say something and so now before we go I have something interesting to show you so don't go away okay so we've been learning today about the really exciting news that Jesus is come the Savior of the world now, I've got a little experiment kind of here to do to show you how joy can fill up our life and the good news, the best news of all, is that Jesus has come as our Savior to change the whole world. So what I have here is going to represent the shepherds just sitting around and minding their own business when some fantastic news comes from the angel. So let's going to see what happens when they hear this news. What is going on? Wow, they're filling up with joy. They're getting really excited. What is going to happen? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What is going to happen? They are so excited. They can't wait to share good news. Filled with unspeakable joy that Jesus is born. Oh my goodness. Look at their welling up and welling up with joy. Wow, look at this. <gasps> they can't help but, 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 bubble over with joy. Amazing. So until next time,
Be filled with joy at the great news that Jesus is born!